Welcome to my advanced Tinkercad modeling instructional series. I've been using Tinkercad for almost 10 years and have taken it about as far as it can go before moving on to other CAD programs, such as Fusion 360 and Blender. But I still use Tinkercad to make some amazing models. In this episode, I'm going to show you a shortcut for making etched panel lines on surfaces. This can be done manually in Tinkercad, but this is a way using vectors to cover large surfaces in just a few steps. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and start a design for some panels. I'm going to go to a two-point line. This is in Corel Draw. You can use Illustrator, Inkscape, anything you'd like. I'm going to start this just by doing a couple of just geometric lines. And you can do this natively in Tinkercad. I'm going to show you some a couple things that you can't do in Tinkercad. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to increase the stroke line to about two. Maybe a little thinner at 1.5. I'm going to turn these objects, I mean turn these vectors into objects. And I'm going to switch back to the hairline stroke and I'm going to remove the fill. Okay, so now we've got these, these objects. I'm going to group these. In Corel, it's called Boundary. So I'm going to come over here to the Shaping. Boundary is selected. Okay, I've spent a little bit of time fine-tuning these lines and grouping and uh, doing some boundary adjustments. So I've got open lines here. All right, so I'm going to save this as an SVG file. You saw this in my other tutorials. Panel sample one, SVG. But let me do a custom panel. Let's do something that's at a curve, and then it comes down. And you can see I'm not being too terribly careful. Just doing a quick sample for you guys. And then let's say we wanted to add in a couple of marks out of it. This is very Star Wars here to, to get little chips knocked out of the edges. A back minus front operation. So you can see it takes those chips out. And then here's something I spent a little bit of time developing this morning. These are very Star Warsy. I think I might take one more chip out of here. All right, so this is by itself. I'm going to jump the scale just a little bit. All right, so this will be a group of panels and save as. SVG, I'm going to call this panels ILM. And we import these now into Tinkercad. New project in Tinkercad. I'm going to open up those vectors. We have, let's go ahead and start with the um, panel sample one. Import. Let's see what the dimensions are on this. Huge. I'm just going to do a small scale experiment here. I'm going to Duplicate this, keep one over here as a reserve. I'm going to bring in a flat plane, make it pretty flat, increase it up. It's probably good enough. Let's make this white. And let's imagine that you're working on a project, you're working on a ship of some sort, 
and you want to get a bunch of panel lines on it, etched, engraved style panel lines. It's real easy. We just turn that pattern that we made in Corel, or in your case, it might be in Inkscape, or whatever you like. I'm going to turn my snap grid off. And I'm just going to embed this just, just a little bit. I mean, it's up to you how deep you want these panels. I can pull it out here and zoom in and see how see how far in it's it's pressing. That's good enough for me for this experiment. And let's we'll bring it all the way out here to this edge. And I want to. I'm going to do more than just one of these, so I'm going to duplicate this, bring this in here, and all we do is combine. And now you've got these etched panel lines that are that fast. And then if we wanted more, let's go ahead and come in again. Let's flip this. Let's turn it so it doesn't repeat exactly the same. Let's bring it over to this corner. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this one more time. We're going to grab this, group it, and let's say we want to do this one more time. Let's flip this around. Actually, you know what? I haven't done it. I haven't done it this way yet. And just for giggles, we're going to shrink it and maybe stretch it shrink it this way just for a little bit of variety again we're going to make a duplicate because i think i might do this one more time group that's looking pretty busy i mean this is this is already looking deaths i mean a uh, star destroyer panel looking and we'll do it one more time okay what do you think? That was a pretty fast and easy way. If you're printing this on a resin printer, you're going to get all that beautiful etch detail. All right, so that's example one. Let's look at that other panel. Here is the uh, kind of the ILM looking panel. I'm going to make these raised panels. So again, we're going to bring out a plane. Flat, make it kind of big. So instead of turning this into a hole, I'm going to right, raise it up off the surface. Let's change the colors of these so we can see what we're doing. All right, so already, just in that one step, I mean, like I'm telling you guys, like Tinkercad may, might not be like the, the best CAD program there is, but when you do these tricks, boy, it is really amazing. And I'm going to duplicate these. I'm going to go into the mirror function. I'm going to mirror it this way. Move it over and turn off the snap grid. I mean, turn it up to half a millimeter. And let's bring this over here and let's line that up. Bring this back out, and guys, that fast and easy, you have, ah, that's not a great color, but that fast and easy, you've got these panels, and you could just keep going. I mean, you can take these two, I can duplicate them, I can bring them back over here, I can grab my mirror and just make these even a little bit more different. Um, I can just play with this non-stop. I mean, I can squeeze it, do anything you want. There is a very fast way in Tinkercad to make these amazing panel details. Etched panels, raised panels. Thanks for watching this series. Feel free to leave a suggestion for future content in the comment section. If you find these tutorials helpful, consider hitting the like and subscribe button 
and hit the bell icon to be notified when future content goes live. Thanks for watching.